Hey there everyone, I'm Nathan with Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with me, I own and operate my own business helping clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones. So, with me running a business, yes, that does mean that I charge for all my services. If you're here looking for a free way to be able to do the things shown in my videos, then you won't find that here, unfortunately. But I can promise that if you do decide to purchase the service, you will absolutely not regret it. Too often these days, it seems like the only places to turn to for these types of things are nameless, faceless eBay sellers, or suspicious websites, or some random guy on Craigslist, or a little shady store down the street where you're not quite sure if they actually have any idea what they're talking about. I'm here to change all that by giving clients a professional, reputable, friendly place to turn to for these types of services. No one else has the experience, dedication, and knowledge for this industry that I do, and the hundreds of perfect feedback and reviews that I have posted on my sites by prior clients prove that my service can't be matched by anyone else out there. Now, under the reason why I'm here today. I have here with me today a Sprint Galaxy Note 5, and this is actually something that I should have addressed a long time ago due to the quantity of requests that I've received from clients. So this video particularly is going to pertain to the screen lock function. So this phone here, we have it on the lock screen, we can see the notifications there, and if we swipe to unlock, it'll ask us for a PIN number to get into the phone. Now, I'm specifically making this video to show clients that I have a way to be able to remove the screen lock without deleting any of the information that's on the phone. I can't tell you how many times clients have contacted me asking me to help them get past the screen lock because either they locked themselves out and couldn't remember it, or they allowed their kid to play with the phone and locked them out, or someone found a phone and wanted to use it. Um, but they wanted to preserve the information that was still on the phone. Obviously, you can do a factory reset to the phone that will clear out the lock, but that deletes everything that's on the phone. In cases where saving the information that's on it is important, I'm now making this video to let everyone know that I have a way to bypass that. So, on the phone here again, we swipe that up and it asks us for the PIN number so we can see that it is still locked. I'm going to go ahead and power it off here, so we're going to turn it completely off. And again, being a Sprint phone, we see the Sprint logo there. Okay, so it now should be completely off. I'm going to power it up to an alternate menu that will allow me to do the removal. And just have to wait another second for that. Okay, so we are now at the alternate screen that will allow me to get that reset. So I'm going to go ahead and plug the phone in here. I'm going to run my little software tool. And it's just going to take a couple seconds to run through and do its thing. And then the phone will reboot and we'll be able to see that the lock is no longer on the phone. And I should mention that this can primarily be done with many different Samsung phones. So I'm going to focus this video on Samsung devices as a whole. We've got the phone booting up here and showing the Samsung logo. Just wanted to make sure that you know that it's not limited just to the Note 5 or just to the Sprint Note 5. This is just one that I have in hand that a client had asked me to fix for them specifically because they were encountering this issue. They needed to have the lock removed without deleting any of the info, so I decided to use it as an example here in my video. Like I said, tons of different Samsung devices can be uh, can have the lock removed. In the tags and the comments, I'll try to put as many different devices as I can so that you guys can find the video if you're looking for it. But even if it's not listed there, if you're interested in having it done, go ahead and contact me because there's a good chance that I'll be able to help you out. So now that we have the phone here rebooted, we're looking at the same screen with the notifications again. And this time, when I swipe the screen, there we go no pin lock. We now have a completely open up. We can see the home screen. The phone's fully able to be used and we did not delete any of the information on it. So that pin lock has been removed and the phone's fully accessible again. That applies no matter if it's a pin lock, a pattern lock, fingerprints, anything of that nature that can all be removed by my service. So 
If you have a Samsung device that has the screen lock enabled and need to be able to get past it without deleting the information, I would be happy to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in touch with me. All the contact information for getting a hold of me will be in the video description, and I'll also put a little slide at the end of the video that has all my information as well. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I offer many different services for many different types of phones, so while you're here, make sure to check out all the other videos on my channel, as I'm sure you'll find other stuff there that interests you as well. Also, hit the subscribe button while you're there to be notified of all the new videos that I'm constantly putting up, just like this one. Y para todos está... Para todos los hispanohablantes, yo también hablo español, así que ustedes no duden en contactarse conmigo. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.